Welcome to another episode of Shock and Awe Toy Reviews. Two, sometimes three idiots are review and uh, camera. And today we are taking a look at Boss Fight Studios, the Umbrella Academy Netflix TV show wave. Wah, wah, wah. Why does she just make the fucking comic versions, you assholes? Right? Sorry, had to get that off my chest out of the way. Yeah, so Boss Fight Studios made Umbrella Academy toys. Three and three quarter? Three and three quarter inch figures. Not the six that the rest of the audience wanted? Correct. Um, as I'm a fan of Boss Fight figures, Boss Fight Studios mostly, they are very frustrating, but very good when they get the shit out. I bought these in the hopes that... His faces almost look the same. Yeah. <laughs> almost. I bought these in hopes that we I would eventually get comic ones. That'd be nice. Because you could do two more waves of these guys and you will have everybody. Yep. And then if you want to do another wave, you put out the comic ones. And then they threw me a curveball when they labeled all of them season one episode ten. So they can go ha ha ha. There are three seasons. We could do 36 different versions. How many times did they change their clothes? That's right. And truth be told, I love Umbrella Academy. I love the first season of the show. It wasn't at all what I was expecting because they changed stuff. But I really enjoyed... Like, once I got over the initial shock, like, oh, the Eiffel Tower is not going to be fighting them. Yeah. Right. And he's not a giant blue monkey. Yeah. Once I got past that, I really enjoyed it. I thought the acting was superb. Yeah, it's I, good. I like the way that they, they fixed or they changed everything so it fits together. Like, they kind of toned down everything to kind of fit into a Netflix budget. Anyway, I bought these toys, and <clears throat> I, I pre-ordered these toys, I should say, based on the fact that Boss Fight Studios is awesome, Umbrella Academy, blah, blah, blah. And uh, they showed prototypes which were kind of scary and then they showed us that holy moly and they showed us that yikes and they showed us that wow. <laughs> and they showed us oh wow this and they showed us that and i was immediately like Oh my god, what the... What? This is... What? Her head's not bad. The prototype. And I'm like, are these production samples? Because everything Boss Fight shows, when they show it, is... Like, that's what it looks like when it comes out 99% of the time, as mm. far as I've... Of the stuff I've bought. And they've been great. Like, we reviewed some older guys over here who are awesome. So when they showed me, again, let's just... I was like, what the f huh? That is unrecognizable. And so I was terrified because I ordered these and I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to stiff the store with these <laughs> awful, awful <laughs> toys. And, and they're never going to sell because if they, like, even the most dedicated fans can go like, man, remember when Hasbro put out Princess Leia in 1996 and she looked just as bad as this? <laughs> and now you've had 30 years to make it better and you couldn't well look at that that's a fantastic face that's better much better I wonder if that's before they had the likeness rights rights I I don't know I think by the time they'd have the license to the actual I, property they would have that as I well. would think that if you're capable of this that you have enough time to fix your box <laughs> that it's such a dramatic change and for uh her other head is also light years better than what they have on the box so that makes me really happy but yeah they all in my opinion look much better than their prototypes that are again on the packaging they shipped with you you couldn't even digitally fake it better? Anyway. Wait, um, wait, wait. Whoa. Tur 
turn yeah, that around turn again? That again. Oh. What? Yeah. Well. Yep. Okay. <laughs> it's the same reaction. It's so yeah. wait, a, wait a second. <laughs> For all the people who were upset about this, she, she has the same issue, but not as bad because she has a uh, vest underneath her coat, mm. so it covers up. Now, for those of us who buy cowboy figures, um, the reason they did that and this is cowboy guys when they put their arm when cowboy guys put their arms down, they can't put their arms down to their sides. She can. Nice. So my guess is they did that so that they would look more having more natural and I can't put my arm down poses. Would I have loved if they had just taken some black paint and gone psh, psh, psh. Yeah, probably. Um so I don't know. I don't know what you would rather have. Because the more you shrink these guys down, the harder it's going to be to have accurate suits. Guys in suits starting off twenty twenty three. But she can actually oh, nice. get into an actual violin pose. She has a bow. She does have a bow. I will show you that I know nothing about music. I'm sure one of, she comes with other hands that can hold it better, but she can actually Not bad. convincingly I'm sure I could futz with her more. Um and I will point out for longtime fans that the motherfuckers gave her Gave them thigh swivel. Yeah, boy. And they gave them the right ankles. So, thanks. I also want to point out on Vanya. Her fingers are actually sculpted in a proper violin pose That's for point. the other hand. So, if I put this hand on, she's got the... I don't know what that grip is called. But anyway, when was the last time you saw a thing, you know, like the Mozart. three and three quarter inch. A dedicated viol violin holding hand sculpt? Yeah. yeah, like. Never. You get a trigger figure. Yeah. <laughs> or a fist. Everyone gets a trigger finger. And her other hand is a trigger finger. But. So she can even more accurately play her violin. And I'm willing to bet, and again, I don't know shit about Dick, but this hand, I bet you, is sculpted to hold the bow properly. Because it is an, it is a trigger finger, but the thumb is in a different placement. She's not giving a thumbs up, so I bet well, you... So you don't touch the, the hair part of the bow, the part that touches the string? Yeah. When they're playing that, they don't touch that. So well... That's why that is. Thank you, boss fight. Ridiculous. <laughs> they all come with Umbrella Academy stands, which is nice because they fall down. All the Umbrella Academy members have umbrellas that are show accurate. Same sculpt, but different colors. Nice. So that's cool. Vanya comes with her extraordinary book uh, we've seen a book from boss fight before in our previous videos they also all come with two sets of hands like all boss fight or most boss fight figures do the difference is in and out and up and versus up and down klaus of course comes with his tattooed hello and goodbye hands uh, and unlike some people they uh, bothered to paint the flesh on the sides of his legs nice and what I find spectacularly awesome is that they painted it so that the <laughs> instead of using the, a flesh colored peg to annoy me they, they did an annoying flesh colored paint <laughs> on the peg above the peg oh, okay. and kept the peg the right color <laughs> um and he has a wonderful striped shirt just like in the show 
Got his Umbrella Academy tattoo. Uh, and Tosal like this. His tattoo is on the joint, on the shoulder joint. I do like that. So, yeah. And because he has thigh swivel. Nice. He can do... He can fall apart action. Oh, shit. Oh, did shit. Did it break on it, camera? It did not break because these use the same hex. Highly articulated blah 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 system chunky kicks i can't remember what it stands for but you can pull these guys apart and put them together with other places but he can do his floaty action because i believe he does do that in the show right when he does his seance all right i know he at least does that pose so yeah he fell apart but he snapped right back together no time travel involved it has still been, uh, whatever it is. I can't remember days since our last break. Let's see what the difference is between Klaus's heads are. Um, his mouth is open on this one a little bit. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice the dog tags really. Oh yeah, he's got the dog tags. Was that season one? I thought that was season two. Episode five. Season one. Hmm. Klaus also comes with his bottle of hooch. Uh, just brown bottle. Brown bottle of hooch. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but he drinks. <laughs> and he comes with his flask. Which has even he sculpted the little bit that holds the cap on. Nice touch. Um, the other flasks I have don't have that. So that's why I pointed that out. And that level of detail comes at what price? They are 30 bucks a piece. Okay. Is that um, the same as Cowboys? No, they're cheaper than Cowboys. Oh, okay. And this is... Cha cha, right? Cha cha. Cha cha. In her. I didn't know she had a head. Unmasked. Unmasked version. Now, some guys, Todd, who poop down your mouth, make you buy two versions where you get the unmasked and then you have to go to Target to buy the masked version and then you have to go to Walmart to buy the correct color. Yeah. Um, she just pops her head off and she comes with. Her. looks fantastic and this way she could almost she's pretty much comic accurate now also true so uh that's awesome and she comes with her uh i don't know what type of gun this is she comes with her machine gun does it say in the box what type of gun accessories included no uh rifle comes with her rifle very helpful Netflix she comes with the rifle that she can hold and she has a trigger finger and uh, a gun that she can hold and put her finger in there pew 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 she also comes with what I'm sure isn't but I think is a wonderful little pistol uh, no pain apps but I don't know if it I don't know if you need it it might be accurate and then do you remember what that is no i don't i'm gonna say a flashlight pneumatic tube pneumatic tube oh that's right oh yeah <laughs> and she comes with a s attache case briefcase it's the time travel case looks like it opens looks like it opens but not on my watch it's just really well sculpted it is just really well sculpted or glued shut after they put it the pieces but time travel previous. nice case yeah so there you go and i don't have any with me but uh i think these are all new sculpts i don't think they reuse any other boss fight parts 
but I don't have many modern boss fight figures to come. I have a lot, lot of fantasy Greek guys. So he comes with his little multiple dagger vest and hey, look at that. There's paint on the back of his body. Amazing. Um, and he's got knife holding throwing action hands. I think he looks great. He he really does. Um so yeah, uh, I was terrified when I saw I don't know if you can see, but his shirt has got the pattern of his sweater. Which is crazy that you would put that much detail into a little figure like this. But they did, and I appreciate it. Diego has a case for his knives, and the knives are packed separate. Awesome. If I could get those out. This is delicate, but the knives are in the case, and the case does fold closed. Diego's alternate head is masked, which is also well done. And you can take their coats off if you want. So, um, I'm happy-ish. They're, they're pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Um, Hazel and Cha Cha are my favorite characters. Sure. From the from the TV show look wise have they announced a wave 2 they have announced that there will be a wave 2 but not who is in wave 2 they look a thousand times better than what oh this is the box you use oh my god <laughs> and I'm so glad I'm throwing this away also this packaging leads wow. me to believe that you were going to do comic accurate figures and you needed a box this big to fit Space Boy in his proper comic accurate box. Maybe. Shut up, Wilson. <laughs> How dare you. So, if you are uh, got disposable income, not like me, uh, and you love the show and love these characters, I would, I would say get these. Um... I'm hoping that I bought oranges to get oranges of apples later. Um, if you were turned off by the promotional images that were initially solicited with these, yes. the final product is better. As of this wave, I will totally be buying wave two because these are better than what I thought they'd be based on the promotional there. Right up there with what I thought they would be when I first heard the boss fight. Given the fact that these are, yes, of course, stupid, stupid Netflix TV and not comic. But I refuse to believe that, you, oh no, NECA does it. Anyway, I'm stupid, I like them. I have tons of three and three quarter inch. They're gonna hang out with uh, Sam and Dean from Supernatural and Machete and maybe they'll hang out with Shaolin Cowboy. I don't know, Baltimore maybe? Time travel? What I will say is Wilson will be correct when they release number six and he's just half the her size and comes with extra hands and extra head and a base and still costs the same amount of money. Thank you. But yeah. I've been saying that, we've been saying that for uh, 48 years of toy buying when they put toys in scale. Wilson would be much happier if they made number six, who is a little kid, the same height as hers, because he doesn't care about scale. That's right. Five? Do you care about five. scale? Five. I don't know. Is it five? It's five. Ah, oh, man. Do I care about scale? No, I was asking the viewers, so I was going to tell them I bet you Yarmo, comment below. Yarmo will say something about it. Maybe oh, yeah. Winston. Maybe William Laws will comment. You don't know. You we don't. Do. We do have some new commenters, which is great. Yeah. We appreciate it. And also give us a thumbs up and a subscribe always helps. Um, the more subscribers we have, the better we can do. Jay Camden. 
And on that note, thanks for watching. Press stop. <laughs>